In this video, you're going to learn how to work with exponential growth and decay models, and we're going to go through two word problems together. We're going to be working with uh, formulas in this form right here, y equals ae to the bx and y equals ae to the negative bx, and let's see if we can go through these together. So the first example, it says in an experiment, 150 bacteria are increasing according to the law of exponential growth. After two hours, the number of bacteria has doubled. Find out how many bacteria there will be after one day or 24 hours. So if we're working with this formula right here, exponential growth, this is for exponential decay, the negative B there. Let's start off with y equals ae b to the x. Now notice that we're starting with 150 bacteria. That's at like time zero. So you could think of this as a point like uh, 0, 150. After two hours, the number of bacteria have doubled, so that after two hours there's 300 bacteria. So you can think of these as like two coordinates or two points. And we're going to start with this point here. So when x is 0, y is 150. Okay, we know b times 0 is just going to be 0. And we know anything to the 0 power is equal to 1 and 1 times a is a. So we have a equals 150. This is like our starting amount or our initial amount. So now let's take a look at this. y equals a, which is 150, e to the bx. We still don't know what b is, right? But we know that this point is on our graph. So we say when x is 2, y is 300. So let's substitute in those values and solve for b. So what we can do is divide both sides by 150. That gives us 2 is equal to e to the 2b. And then what I would do is I would take the natural log of both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got natural log of 2 equals natural log of e to the 2b. Well, now natural log is log base e. So these are inverses of one another, right? So, so we're just left with 2b is equal to natural log of 2. Okay, divide both sides by 2 or we can multiply both sides by 1 half. So we get b is equal to uh, 1 half natural log of 2. Now if you know your properties of logarithms, you know the power property where you can bring this 1 half up as an exponent. You could write this as natural log of 2 to the 1 half. And we know that the 1 half is like the square root. So you could write this as natural log of square root of 2 is equal to b. Okay, so that is going to go in for b right here. Okay, so now our equation looks like this. We've got y equals 150 uh, e to the natural log square root 2 uh, times x. Okay, but we can think about this as, see, this is e raised to the natural log, which that's like log base e. These are inverses of one another. So this would just give you y equals 150 square root of 2 to the x power, okay, because exponentiating and taking the logarithm, if their bases are the same, they're inverses, that gives us square root of 2 to the x power. So now that's our equation, but we're interested in how many bacteria are there going to be after one day. That's where x is going to be, not 2 hours, but 24 hours. So if we put 24 in for x, let's see what we get for y. So we get 150, let's see, times the square root of 2 raised to the Let's try that again, square root of 2 to the 24th. I'm getting 614,400 bacteria. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Okay, for example number 2 now, it says 10 grams of a substance is decreasing according to the law of exponential decay. After 500 years, there is 8 grams remaining. After how many years will there be? three grams left. So exponential uh, decay, we're going to be using this formula here. And I just wanted to point out that with these exponential growth and decay formulas, don't they look a lot like the formula that we use for compound interest when you're compounding continuously? Remember the PERT formula? See the P was like the starting amount or the principal, and then the B here was like the rate, and then T is the time, but you see how you have that natural base E. So very similar 
I just wanted to point that out. But for this one, what we have is we have uh, two points. We have at time zero, there's 10 grams, but after 500 years, there's eight grams. And what we want to find out is after how many years are there three grams, okay? Whenever you have two variables like A and B, you need two equations you know, to solve it, right? To solve the system. But what I would do here is I would start with this point where, where x is zero. So we'll say y equals AE to the negative B over x. Notice the negative means it's a decay, okay? The positive B was when it was a growth. So when y is 10, x is zero. Okay, we know negative B times zero is zero. E to the zero is one. 1 times a is a, so you can see a equals 10. That's like our starting amount. So now we say, let's put that back in for a. y equals 10 times e to the negative bx. We want to solve for b. Let's use this other point, 500 comma 8. So uh, when y is 500, that's after uh, 8. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. So after uh, 500 years, there's 8 grams remaining, right? So 8 grams remaining after... 500 years. So when x is 500, we have 8 grams remaining. So we're trying to solve for b now. So let's divide both sides by 10. 8 tenths we can reduce down to 4 fifths, uh, negative 500b. And we can take the natural log of both sides. So natural log, natural log. Remember the natural log and uh, that's log base C, and here we have e to the negative 500b. Those are inverses, so you're just going to end up with negative 500b is equal to natural log of 4 fifths. Okay. Divide both sides by negative 500. Let's bring it up over here. We get b equals, uh, let's just say, negative 1 500th. Okay, if I divide or multiply by the reciprocal, natural log of or fifths. Okay, now let's put that back in for b right here, okay, and so that gives us y equals 10 e to the negative 1 500th natural log of 4 fifths. Now again, working with the properties of logarithms, you can bring up this, oh, now I made a mistake here because you see the negative, a negative times a negative is going to make this a positive 1 over 500. Okay, be careful about that. And we can bring this up as an exponent using that power property of log. So this is going to be y equals uh, 10e to the natural log 4 fifths to the 1 500th, right? <laughs> so again, natural log is log base e. These are inverses, so we end up getting y equals 10 times 4 fifths to the 1 over 500 and where's our x here? x, okay, and now what do we have? That's basically it. So let's see what we've got. So we've got uh, how many bacteria will there be, or how many years will it take for there to be three grams of this uh, substance left? Okay, so that means when y equals three, how do we solve for, for x the number of years? Now, 1 over 500x, we could also write this as x divided by 500 uh, either way. So, again, we're going to solve for x. We're going to divide both sides by 10. Okay, so that's 3 tenths. And then let's take the log of both sides. So if I just take the log of the left side, log of 3 tenths, log of the right side, that's log of 4 fifths, uh, to x to the 500. Let's write that down, x divided by 500. You can bring this down in front of the log. Remember the power property of logarithms. Okay, this is a long problem, huh? Log of 3 tenths. And then now what we can do is we can get x by itself by multiplying both sides by 500 and dividing by log of 4 fifths. So let's write that over here. We've got log of 3 tenths, multiply both sides by 500, so that's 500 log of 3 tenths divided by log of 4 fifths is equal to x. Let's go to the calculator, see what that comes out to. So we got, let's see, 500 log 3 tenths divided by log 4 fifths. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm going to round to the nearest year. It's about 
2,000, approximately 2,698 uh, years in order for it to break down to just three grams left. So great job if you're able to follow these two examples. If you want more practice with these exponential growth and decay models, I'll put another video I did right there. Follow me over to that video. We'll get some more practice. I'll see you over there.